Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today, I'll actually be sort of reacting to a video that uh, I found extremely interesting. So, if you haven't heard about the Warship Splits Combat Information Center, this is a uh, this is not official. This is not from Wargaming itself, but this is from some people who have extremely good insights into how things work and have spent an incredible amount of time digging up a lot of details from the game and about the game mechanics. And this video is about uh, how armor works, which is an, a topic that is extremely interesting for me as well. So, uh, And I, I always like to have these sort of uh, really good, uh, concise insights for, for people who are new to the game. So let's go through that together. And um, I'll leave a bit of commentary. I'll leave a link to the original video as well as to the uh, CIC website down below. Uh, it's got lots of good hidden stats in it that you don't get to see in the actual game client. and. Um, it's generally a pretty good resource to, to check out. So, let's go through this. Armor is an important game mechanic. Yes, absolutely. Each ship has its own unique armor profile. Now, uh, I'll pause here first. <laughs> they, they, do, uh, they do argue that ships have four, um, that ships have four armor zones. Uh, three of them would be the bow, the stern, and the main belt section on the side. And I will assume that the fourth section is the superstructure. I am not 100% certain, and I will have to test that or try to test that, if the gun turrets have their own ar armor section. I was sort of thinking they would, but they might not. We definitely know that there are modules in, in the ship that are, uh, that are reacting to, that can be damaged and are reacting to being shot at. So the main turrets definitely exist as a module because they can be disabled when hit by shells. Uh, and we have the engine and uh, steering modules in the rear. So if you if you take uh, penetrating hits to the stern, then you will also notice that uh, occasionally there will be a module damage happening, such that you lose engine con uh, engine power or steering control. Uh, the secondaries, I think, probably generally are just being hit. The other th thing, the other question would be: Is there a difference between the deck armor plating and the superstructure? Now we know that this. Uh, we know that the Citadel, and I think that I'm getting ahead of myself, uh, we know that the Citadel has um, is, is where we want to hit, which is the center section, as, as outlined here. But uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So I think this is uh, one, one important thing to take away here is that there are actual armor values. And this is something that we've already talked about uh, in the past when there were uh, updates, because occasionally this uh, pokes through in, in the updates. So... Uh, that belt is more resistant to enemy shells. Yes, that is absolutely the case for most ships. Now, the next thing that they mention, and I might have paused it for a little bit too long here. There we go. Next slide, sort of. Uh, destroyers have different types of armor. Well, uh, they don't really have the armor zones. I, I think this is not correct. I think destroyers do have armor zones as well. Uh, but again, I, I would actually need to test this because I've seen this... Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen this happening that um, that I managed to uh, to over penetrate destroyer bound stern sections, so it's um, it, it's something I will have to test. But my impression always was that destroyers also have a slightly sturdier midsection uh, where you could actually get full penetrations while you get over penetrations on on the other side. Over penetration mechanic is basically. Uh, your armor-piercing shell has too much penetration, such that it just goes straight through, and you only do 25% of damage. Now, let's see what they've got next. Citadel hits. So, to cause a citadel hit, the shell must first penetrate the armor of the enemy for the chance uh, citadel chance to be activated. Yes, so you need a full penetration on the central section of the ship. Not necessarily on the side. You can get through the deck armor. This is what I said earlier. Um, Mostly the deck armor plating is weaker than the belt armor plating, which is historically how things worked. So, uh, because there are no angling mechanisms, as in it doesn't matter which geometrical angle you you hit from, you will always have the same the same formula. The in order to get to the citadel, which is the central section and can generally be described as between the first, I I, I, I would say as a rule of thumb between the uh, the first and the last turret. 
of the ship is uh, is where you where you normally get citadel hits. And uh, yes, you do need to get through the through the armor, either deck or belt, in order for the citadel chance to activate. Now this is something that's really interesting because this is one of the hidden hidden uh, stats. So. Uh, each warship has a citadel chance on the guns, yes. And uh, I believe larger sh shells probably have higher citadel chances. I think some of the very small guns may not, but um, I'm, I'm not certain. But uh, this, isn't also just, this isn't also just restricted to the shell type. So while with, um, with an armor-piercing shell, you have higher penetration, which makes sense because if you need to get through the armor in order to, make a, to, to get this citadel chance, uh, you can also make citadels with high explosive or semi armor piercing shells if you manage to have sufficient penetration behind it to get in there now here's one here's one um here's one that i find pretty interesting and i'm not 100% certain how it works as a mechanic so to determine if a shell is a citadel hit the chance is put against the risk of citadel and reduced correspondingly do they mean the citadel protection i am not certain it's it's possible that they uh, that, that they mean the citadel protection value, uh, but um, the other thing that they mention here is that uh, so if a shell has an eight percent citadel chance and hits an armor belt that has a two percent citadel chance reduction, uh, the shell would have a six percent chance of scoring. So uh, normally this would be multiplicative, I think, but um, uh, there's definitely a a reduction factor of some sort. I don't know if this is the citadel protection factor. So if they if they're considering you have a twenty percent citadel protection, that that would translate into a point two additive factor. Not quite certain about this one, how this works internally. But like I said, these guys have spent a lot of time looking at uh, uh, and investigating these things. So. Uh, I'm gonna take it. The other thing that's ne meant that's necessary to mention is that uh, German battleships, not battle cruisers, battleships tier seven and higher, so Gneisenau until Friedrich der Große, get a sort of second citadel protection, and I think it's a second penetration check. So you have to pass two penetration checks to citadel German battleships, which is why they're less easy. One reason why they're less easy to citadel, besides them having an extremely high citadel protection. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, y yes, you are unable to receive citadel hits on destroyers. That's also true. C uh, destroyers don't. They used to have, but not anymore. That has been patched out a uh, long, long time ago. Now, the commander skills. Yes, uh, armor piercing cap shell and IFHE will increase the penetration values of your guns. Um, uh, the APCS. Actually, let me look that up one second. So the APCS does increase on a standard captain, does increase your max penetration by 5%. So a shell starts, an armor-piercing shell starts with a penetration value, and uh, we've seen that in one of the recent in one of the recent patch notes. So I still don't know what it was. I think for large caliber shells, battleship shells, it was somewhere around 400, 500, and I, my guess would have been back then that this is the amount of armor plating that it can penetrate. So this, the APCS skill would increase that. Um, and but it, the second thing the APCS does, it increases the uh, the penetration power sustainability because armor piercing shells lose penetration power over distance. So the further away your shot goes, the lower the penetration on impact, and uh, that that is something that it also uh, it also helps with. The uh, IFHE uh, just increases the uh, the the penetration flat out. So it just gives, because I don't think uh, HE shells are necessarily losing penetration. I'm not sure if they lose penetration over distance. It would make sense if they did, but um, uh, they can neither bounce nor over penetrate. So with HE shells, you would uh, you would always, at, le at the very least, get a semi-pen. You can either get a semi-pen or a full pen. That's all you can get out of it. But yes, these, these skills are inc improving, uh, the, improving the, um, the penetration. Battleships have thickest armor and highest number of hit points. Yes, that is true, uh, general, generally speaking. And destroyers can prove resistance against shells that overpenetrate them. Yes. Uh, so this is only true... <laughs> this is true, absolutely true for armor-piercing shells. Um, but only from a... Only from a... Um, from a certain caliber. So anything... 
anything up to and including, I would say probably 180 millimeters. 150 to 180 millimeters is going to armor piercing is going to penetrate destroyers and do full penetrations. They're not going to score citadels, but they're going to score a lot of damage. Anything 203 millimeter and above uh, at close ranges, because remember the uh, the armor piercing shells lose penetration power over time. So at close ranges, 203 millimeter and above will start over penetrating and only do 25% damage. This is if you're in a battleship and you've got the AP loaded. And you're fighting a destroyer at close range, so we're talking about five kilometers maybe, then most likely your shells aren't going to do anything. They're just going to overpenetrate. Not all of them. There might be one shell or so that um, that actually manages to that actually manages to uh, to do a full penetration. But uh, keep again keep in mind that AP loses penetration power over time. So at long distances. Um, your armor piercing, especially things like 200 millimeter, 220 millimeter armor piercing, is going to be absolutely murderous against destroyers because it will do full penetrations and um, and the AP does more damage than the HE. But yes, if you're firing, if you're firing at close range in a battleship, it's often better, even though the alpha damage is lower, to s switch over to the high explosive shells. Now, semi armor piercing, at least according to the um, at least according to the in-game wiki. Uh, can not overpen. Uh, that is not entirely correct. Semi armor piercing does overpenetrate. I have seen this happening against destroyers. Um, it doesn't happen all that often, and uh, mostly you would. The, the big thing is that semi semi armor piercing has lower penetration value than armor piercing, but has, especially in battleships, has about the same amount of <laughs> the same amount of. Uh, of alpha damage. In destroyer in cruisers it's even worse because cruiser semi armor piercing has more damage than armor piercing. So anything Italian that's firing SAP at you and a destroyer um, is is monstrously dangerous. And also be careful with the British because they do tend to sail uh, HE by standard, so battleships will fire at you high explosive shells. So yeah, these the things if you're in a destroyer. Cruisers have low survivability. Um, they have I would say they have low uh, survivability in terms of tanking, as in sitting still and bouncing things off their armor. That is true. They're large, they have thin armor, and uh, makes them extremely vulnerable to large caliber armor piercing shells, as they seldom over penetrate, unless they are hitting at weak armor spots, because cruisers, again, as you've seen in the beginning of the video, have the three, uh, at least three armor zones. So if you're hitting a cruiser in the bow section or in the stern section with large caliber battleship shells, you might be over penetrating. But if you're hitting, if you're hitting at the um, at the center, then uh, yes. So a lot of battleship uh, armor piercing should be able to get even through the cruiser belt sections. Whereas against enemy battleships, you would try to hit the deck because it's weaker, and you just you want just enough penetration to arm your shell and and make it explode inside. Yeah, so in th that is absolutely true. Uh, survivability, sorry, just to, to complete my thought here. Survivability, uh, cruisers don't rely on their armor for survivability against battleship shells. Cruisers rely on hardcover. So either other ships, <laughs> islands, uh, or any other kind of uh, obstacle you can't in between, or they rely on their maneuverability, uh, their their speed, and uh, their their uh, their ability to dodge incoming fire, in order to survive against battleships. So they do have survivability; it's just not armor based. And that was it. So I think this is an absolutely excellent video, and this is exactly the sort of resources that um, new players need in order to understand the basics of the game mechanics. The wiki in in game is starting to get a little better. In, in pointing that out, but um, I'm, I'm really happy to, to see this kind of content. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll put the link in, in the description to, to the video, as well as to the website, which has a lot of, uh, a lot of good hidden stats that you don't otherwise find. And uh, yeah, go and check it out. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.